Find the algebraic expression for sine of the sine inverse of root 2 over 2 plus cosine inverse of x. Well, sine inverse of root 2 over 2 is just an angle, which is 45 degrees, and cosine inverse of x is another angle. We don't know this angle, so we'll call it theta. <clears throat> By the sine sum formula, we have sine of the first times cosine of the second plus cosine of the first times sine of the second. We'll simplify what we can. Sine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2, and cosine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. So what is cosine of theta and sine of theta? Since cosine inverse of x is an angle and we call that theta, then we have theta equals cosine inverse of x, or cosine of theta is equal to x. x can be re-expressed as x over 1. So if I draw a right triangle, we have the adjacent side x and the hypo hypotenuse is to be 1. We just need the opposite side. So by the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus b squared equals 1 squared. So b squared is equal to 1 minus x squared, or b is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. So the opposite side is square root of 1 minus x squared. So from this, we have cosine of theta equals to x, that's what we have earlier. And now we have sine of theta to be square root of 1 minus x squared, the opposite side, over 1, the hypotenuse, which simplifies to square root of 1 minus x squared. Now, let's just substitute in. Cosine of theta was x, and sine of theta was square root of 1 minus x squared. We notice both of these expressions has root 2 over 2, so we factor it out. So we have root 2 over 2 times x plus the square root of 1 minus x squared. Subscribe for more math content. Thank you.